Alright, so I'm back with another story time. And this story time is going to be kind of short. But it's just about a time how, I guess you could say, I almost got arrested. So, they call Portland the City of Roses. So every year, we have a parade called the Rose Parade. Rose Festival Parade. And there's also a Junior Rose Festival Parade. And that's one is just where it's just a whole bunch of kids in the parade. So, me and my friends decided to go to it. We go to it every year, so we went. And there's a big Donald's right by, like, the heart of the parade. So, that's where everybody be at. Like, all the kids, well, not the kids, but, like, the teenagers and my friends and stuff that I hang around. We be at the McDonald's. So, I went, and when I get there, I went to McDonald's, and all my friends are already in there. So, we're just chilling, sitting there for about uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, I say about 30 minutes. And then... There was, like, some other kids that we weren't with, but they were there, too, because that's where everybody hangs at that McDonald's. So, there were some other kids we weren't with. They were about, they were on their way leaving, but they were, like, standing by the door. So, the manager kind of got mad and was like, hey, can y'all clear off from the door? And one of the kids told him, shut up. And we started laughing, right? So, he's like, all right, you want to tell me to shut up? And then, right when he said that, they ran out the door. Then he came to me and said, me and my friends, we have to leave. I don't know why... He said that it wasn't us who told him to shut up, but he said we had to leave. So we're like, hell no, we're not leaving because we didn't do it. So he's like, all right, that's fine. We'll just get the police. And police, they be all around the parade. Sure, right outside the parking lot of McDonald's. So he went and called the police inside. So the police come inside. They're like, you guys got to go. So it was about 10 of us. All my friends leave except for me, one of my friends named Kylan, and one of my other friends named Laquandre. We all stayed. Like, man, fuck 12. Fuck the police. Like, we're not finna leave it and do nothing. So, when we standing there, and I was drinking my drink, and Laquandre was drinking his, uh, or he was eating a sandwich, and Kylan was eating some french fries. So, the one of the police officers told Laquandre, uh, you can eat your burger outside. He said, no, I came to eat this here. He's like, well, you guys gotta go. So, we're just sitting there still, just enjoying our food. We're like, man, come on, bro, this is bullshit. We didn't do nothing. So, it's like, well, if you guys don't leave, I'm gonna have to arrest you guys for trespassing. We was like, what? That's weird. So, we started walking out. So, as we're walking, we're taking our time. Like, we're not finna rush. We're not in a rush. What is there to be in a rush for? So, we're walking outside. And the police officers, like, they start being weird. Like, one of them start getting all of my friend's face and my friend kind of like not more face, like get the fuck on my face bro like like legit you gotta move bro get the fuck on my face so police officer's getting bad so i went over i'm like what's going on and he got in my face and my homie kind of like hey get out his face so i like push him back like bro come on bro get up on my face cuz he like, i don't like all that so then he's like well keep walking we're like man we is walking so the police officer he's still harassing my homie kylan like all up in his face and kylan like bro Come on, bro. <laughs> he called the police a bitch and a nigga, all this shit. Then the police officer was like, come on, you gotta walk or I'll take you to jail. Kyle was like, I don't give a fuck about jail. Then he told the police officer, bro, he told the police officer to come through his hood. Come see him through his hood. I was like, Cuddy, you don't have a hood. He's like, yeah, I do have a hood. And then he can come see me. I was like, all right, bro. So... Later, the police, like, go back to where or they were in the parking lot. And everybody followed us. Like, all the people we were with, they all followed us. Even, like, even though the manager didn't tell them to come outside, they all followed us outside. They're like, all right, well, they can't be in here. We finna go outside, too. So everybody was just chilling in the parking lot. So we was like, all right, cool. So me and my friends, we go back into the side of the parking lot where everybody's at. So we think everything's all cool and stuff. So we sitting there in the parking lot where everybody else is at. And if I say about 30 minutes later... The police officer said, hey, you guys got to be on the sidewalk. Y'all sidewalk boys. And we're like, oh, shit. So then he went to my homie Kylan because Kylan was the one, like, making all the ruckus, like, calling the police a bitch and stuff. He was like, oh, yeah, you're the sidewalk boy member. Or he said, you're a sidewalk member to me. And he told LaQuandra, you're a sidewalk member. And he told Kylan, he said, matter of fact, you're sidewalk boy's leader. So he redirected us to the sidewalk. Kylan and LaQuandra both kept going back inside the parking lot but i wasn't going back inside the parking lot because the police officer told me specifically i go back in there i'm getting arrested for trespassing man. and i wasn't trying to so yeah that's kind of about what happened at that mcdonald's i can't go back to that mcdonald's but hey i'm not tripping it's whatever so i'm gone i'll have another story time probably next week 
So yeah, be, walk, be looking out for that. Purchase your track now.